Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Diava Art Plus. Today we're gonna make this beautiful piece of art, and for that I'm gonna show you step by step. Now, uh, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoy watching this. All right, so let's start. I'm working outside today, and um, I'm working with this wood. It's uh, actually you can find this kind of wood at any hardware store and this is about four foot long and one foot wide all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut this wood in half because i'm only gonna use the half of this wood okay and for the half of the other wood maybe for the another project all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna measure this first and then uh, i'm gonna cut this in half all right so let's see where is my two foot so two foot is right here so i'm just gonna use my pencil and make a little mark all right so i cut this wood already in half now i'm gonna cut this half in half again okay so this is how i cut my uh, wood so i have this clamp i'm just gonna use this and uh, make sure my wood doesn't move when i cut this so I'm going to use this clamp and here I started cutting this. Now I'm using jigsaw here and uh, this really takes a little time. So I fast forward this part and uh, here I'm all done cutting this, this wood in half. Now I'm going to draw the shape I want to cut. So for that I'm just going to use uh, my pencil and I'm just going to start drawing the design. Now you can be creative as creative as you like to. So I want to cut a hole in the middle so I started drawing just a very random uh, line in the middle and then uh, a line on the outside of the wood area on the edges I mean now I know it's hard to see so I'm gonna use my marker so you guys can see now if you make a mistake don't worry just create another line next to that and see which one you like the best because we're gonna add a whole lot of color in here so you're not gonna see this black line okay so um if you again don't like any line just create another line next to that and uh, make a little x mark so that you know that which line to cut okay so again you can uh, just create any shape you like but try to make your line slightly uh, you know it's not um it's not all so much curvier just a little more like a big curve if that makes sense so that it's gonna be so much easier to cut all right now again I'm just gonna use my jigsaw and I started just following the line now when it feels like it's hard to cut I just um, stop there and create another line on the other side so this is uh, how I uh, cut my whole wood now I know it's sometimes it's hard to explain but you guys can see what I'm doing here so I'm just gonna cut this first wood and I'm trying not to like fast forward too much here so you guys can see what I'm doing here okay so yeah
right so here i'm all done cutting this wood now if you don't like this shape you can just create another line and cut that okay so yeah here i'm all done now here is the mess behind so let's start preparing this wood for the resin now what i like to do is use um like a gesso or maybe white paint acrylic paint or you can also use like a you know some kind of a paint and uh, i like to cover it with that color i mostly like to use white color i think it's just a better uh, choice because i like to see the color how that's gonna look like when i pour the resin there Alright, so yeah, here I'm all done. Now I'm just gonna let this dry completely and now let's let me show you how I mix my resin. Alright, so for that I'm using this silicon cup. This one already have this measure and I'm gonna pour part A and part B on this cup. Alright, so let me do this very quickly. Okay, now I'm gonna mix my resin very slowly for about like, you know, three to four minutes or until uh, this whole thing is nice and clear. So do you see how foggy it is right now? Um, but when it's completely mixed nicely, it's gonna be like completely clear. All right, so I mix my resin for about like four to five minutes. Now it's, uh, I'm just, I just like to put it on side and I like to use these kind of containers and I put my wood on top of that okay so if I have any drip or anything it, it just can uh, you know just go directly on that plastic I have there now here I have my resin and what I'm doing is with the spoon I'm just applying a little bit of in the middle of that circle area and also adding another line around that wood now you can see clearly here and i like to spread it with the spoon again okay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this uh, glass filler i mean uh, the decorative filler it's like a crushed glass i'm gonna put the link down below if you like to check it out and i'm just kind of uh, you know adding that on on the resin like that now this is what I'm using. You can use a lot of other things. And I'm just using my finger to, you know, remove that uh, extra glass from uh, from the place I don't want. And I'm kind of, uh, you know, making them all together. Okay, so now I have these uh, little plastic cups I'm going to use. And I'm just going to pour that plain resin on those cups. I'm going to use two color for now. First is white color and for the second cup i'm using blue now i'm also using this uh, resin pigment here now i'm gonna put the link down below again uh i like to use this uh, pigment because it makes my blue more like a more darker blue okay so now i started pouring the white paint i mean white resin next to that crystal i still have a little space between crystal and this white resin and I'm just gonna keep making more and more uh, like a little bit of white out of 
one time and then I'm just gonna pour it like this one. I maybe will add more white later. Now I mix my blue and I started also pouring that next to the white or on top of the white. Again, to be honest, I am not being very precise here because uh, this resin that we are pouring right now is gonna move anyways. So I'm trying to put um, like, you know, this resin next to each other, so like that. And I'm just gonna add another color here now. The next color is almost like a teal color, so I'm adding a blue, tiny bit of green, and I'm also going to add a little bit of white here. Okay, so this is the color it looks like now. And I'm just going to again keep pouring this paint. And I'm just going to make more white, add more white here, add maybe more blue. And I'm just going to try to fill all the plain area I have here on this wood. So I'm just going to fill all of this area by adding more and more, you know, paint and keep adding these kind of lines with that. Alright, so the first thing, uh, I mean, next thing I'm going to use, I never used this be before, I'm just going to use this first time. So this is a mica powder, I'm going to put the link down below, you can check it out. It is amazing, let me tell you. I just add a little bit of uh, this mica powder in my resin and as you can see I love this product I'm not promoting this product I mean nobody's paid before this product I'm just gonna <laughs> tell you my honest review okay so uh, I try to pour this golden resin next to the crystal I mean next to the crossed glass okay so uh, that's what i'm doing here now i'm also adding some more golden lines around that wood but i like to add that golden next to the next to the cross glass As you can see, I add some uh, some more white. Now I'm gonna add this glitter, and I'm just mixing this uh, glitter with that same mica powder um, resin I mixed earlier. And uh, I use two type type of glitter here. One is just a gold, and the second one is kind of rose gold. And uh, I bought this from Dollar Tree, <laughs> so uh, I pour that glitter resin on top of that mica powder um, resin there so yeah i'm just gonna keep pouring another line and uh, see if i need more So I hate wasting resin, so you'll see me scraping my uh, cups every time. So here, I am not pouring a lot of uh, resin on the edges, so that's why I'm going to use my finger and going all the way to the edges and uh, bringing that resin to the edges. Now, I know that some people really like to bring their um, the design all the way to the edges, now i'm gonna use a different color on the edges so that's why i'm not adding more resin on the edges okay so i feel like i want to add more gl crossed glasses on that area so i'm just gonna keep adding more here and then we could we're just gonna let this completely dry now i separate both of the wood and i see some uh resin pouring on the edges now again i told you i really want to apply different color there so i'm trying uh not to have any drips there i still have some but that's okay i'll show you how to remove that after everything's nice and dry 
but um, here I'm all done I'm just gonna let this dry and then I'll show what I do next now I already like this one the way it is I don't feel like doing anything but I'm gonna finish this so uh, I mean you know what you can use any other color you like I always like to use uh, white and blue for this kind of uh, this kind of art so you will see me uh, using a lot of blue kind of green like a teal and white all right so let me put this in other room and make sure it's nice and dry now if you don't like these kind of little bubbles you can always use uh like a heat gun or something like that to blow those bubbles but i really like that so here how you can remove your drips so do you see i am just using just a lighter and this is actually a regular speed so i'm just uh you know making that area a little bit warm and i'm using a knife to cut that and it comes right off like it come off so easily as you can see i don't have that many so um, it didn't really take me too long to remove all those strips okay so for the next part i'm gonna use my heat gun and apply a little bit of glue I'm gonna work on the middle of that area first so I applied some glue there first and then I grabbed some crushed glass on my hand now this this glass is not sharp so that's why I'm not using my gloves otherwise uh, if you are using something sharp make sure you wear your gloves okay so what I'm doing again is applying some glue and taking some glass on my hand and kind of you know putting right on top of the glue now i hurt myself with that glue like i burned myself so many times but it wasn't too hot but you know make sure you wear your gloves if you feel like you cannot take this so i'm just gonna keep adding more and more glue and keep adding more and more glass and trying to make it you know as uh, like it's make sure it's all nice and together and i don't see any more wood okay so that's what i'm gonna do for the other side too and um, i also did the same thing for my second wood now i didn't show that part here but it's basically same thing uh, it just take a little time so and then i add maybe some more glass on top of that area and now what i'm doing here is mix resin and uh, add some you know silver glitter here and there's a lot of bubble in this but that's okay i love bubbles <laughs> and then adding that resin on top of those uh, glass that i just glued together now i know that uh, the glue is not gonna hold these glasses together for very long so that's why i'm using resin so that you know this all grass is gonna like gonna hold more better if that makes sense now so yeah again i'm just gonna let this dry completely overnight and here is the third day now i'm gonna use this pan i'm I'm mostly gonna use the white and the golden one now you can find this kind of uh, pan anywhere at your local store but this is what i'm gonna use the last pan i show you so i already draw a line on my first wood and i'm just trying to follow that line and uh, trying to start from that point and end to the, that point so you know it looks like it's all together now as you can see this line i'm adding is like very random lines uh, i try to use white color on the blue resin and gold color on the you know blue or the white doesn't matter but uh, i'm just kind of adding just very random line like that and this line are really really thin so what i like to do is go over this line maybe you know three or four times and every time i go over i make sure that that line is dry and then i go over that line otherwise uh, if you go over this line when it's still wet it's just gonna remove that color so what i did is start with the one color and add all the lines and then grab the second color and add more lines and i go back to my first color and go over those lines one more time okay so yeah now what i'm gonna do is work on the edges 
and for that I'm gonna use my black acrylic paint and I'm just kind of uh, covering the borders I mean the edges with the black paint and I grab some more paint on my brush and I'm kind of dabbing on top of the edge so something like this and I just go over that area one time and I'm trying not to make any straight line here so as you can see I'm not gonna have like any straight line here <laughs> so something like this I'm just kind of dabbing there one time okay so what I'm doing now here is I'm not, I'm trying not to take any more paint and I'm just kind of brushing that black paint on bottom of those crystal area so something like this now this is very optional i just feel like i want to do this so um i'm just kind of brushing just on the bottom here i still have some uh hot glue like you know the glue streaks there whatever you call it but um i'm just adding a little bit of uh, black on the bottom of the glass here So I hope you guys all enjoyed making this with me if you did and uh, if you never tried this before try it it's super easy and super fun do this with your friends or alone it will be a lot of fun trust me so yeah here I'm all done I'm just gonna you know let this dry and uh, there are also this you know drips on the plastic I mean I use a plastic on the bottom but you know you can also use this one to create like a some kind of a jewelry or something i don't know okay so yeah here i'm all done and let me know what you think about this one this really took me like three days to complete this but i'm so excited to hang this somewhere in my home but i don't have any more walls left <laughs> because i already um have a lot of art in my home and in like every single wall i'll show you maybe one day but i don't even have any more space left but uh yeah thank you so much guys for watching this video and this is how it looks like in uh you know in the sun i mean it looks really really cool i love this one but let me know if you want to see more of this one this kind of art on with a different color maybe or something but yeah thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you guys all enjoyed and i will see you next time whenever i paint something or make something but make sure you subscribe and like this video okay bye